Hi, welcome to the 40 second hammer tutorial. This is the tutorial for the winner of the mapping contest, which we're going to be going over how to illuminate textures basically, and how they'll cast light. So what I have here is just the room with spawns in it, and the other side has no lights whatsoever. So what we're going to do here is we're going to light this room without using any light entities at all. So to do this is relatively simple. It's done using a lights.rad file. So what we need to do is go create one of those. So you need to go to your game directory. And the file must be in the same place as gameinfo.txt. So pretty much right in the root of the game. So C strike. So where mine goes. And there's a couple different ways that you can create a lights.rad file. Well, the obvious one is to right click text file. Then lights.rad. Now you can use a couple different lights.rad files, and we're going to go over what those do. Basically, what this file is going to do is it's going to generate light. It's going to tell materials to generate light, to act as a light. So, to do this, all you need to do is find a texture. After you've found a texture, you just place the texture in your map, however you want to use it. So I'm going to almost use mine as an accent to the map. Alright. So there's that texture. And the light will be drawn from any face that actually has the texture. So you want to make sure that you no draw all unseen faces. Like this is especially important for this. So that way VRAD doesn't try to light it. So it will definitely compile quicker. Now what you do is you get the texture name so this texture name is it's so what I want to type in here is this name here so I want to put gg underscore and then so you want to put in the texture name so I have gun game number land slash ground underscore zero three now you put a space and it becomes the red green blue brightness factor so it's just like with a normal light so the easiest way to get these is to place a light choose the lights brightness so choose a color for the light and then copy it and paste it here and then adjust accordingly and then click save now let's say that you want a light a lights file for just one certain map you can do this and you have to tell it to use that file during the compile but lights.rad is the default one and it will be read for every compile so you only do this if you want it to be used for every compile that you do if you want it for, for a map specific compile then you can copy it rename it something so I'm naming mine test lights and now when you go to compile your map you go to expert and then this is what actually happens when you compile your map you want to go to dollar sign light underscore exe and then in front of the parameters you want to type dash lights and then the file name so it's lights space test lights dot red now whenever you compile your map it will use this file instead and it actually it will use this file in addition but you want to make sure that you remove that whenever you go to another one or you can go to edit and you can copy the default profile and create a new one I created profiles for all the sylvan here so that way I can compile with my lights file now delete that make sure my lights file is in place and compile our map you can do this in normal
now we'll load Counter Strike. Alright, so now we come over here and we can see that there's the blue light. And this generates the light as a tube, not from just one point. But you'll notice that the color on it looks a little deformed. Well, it's not as crisp a color as we would like it to be. So I'm going to show you how to fix that right now. So to fix this, the easiest way to do this is you need to create a new material. So if you're using custom materials, that's great. Makes their job a whole lot easier. So what you need to do is go to the VMT file. And in the VMT, you need to add one simple command. You must add parenthesis dollar sign S E L F I L L U M close parenthesis one. So self loom one. Now what this will do is it will basically make the texture glow in the dark. It's almost like this one texture will be matte full bright. So this will make it look like it's generating the light and it won't receive light so it's really bright. There's a couple other things you can do to this to make it look a little better. You can add a self alum tint and this is just done with the RGB float values so it would be 111 for default and let's say you want it tinted blue so RGB so you would lower the other two values and keep blue at the max so now we save that and we go ahead and recompile our map then we'll load up counter strike again so now we're back in our map walk over here and it doesn't receive light anymore and it's tinted blue like we told it to this is also how valve got the lights and portal how they're set into the ground and they cast that light all the way across that looks really pretty I hope this tutorial helped you. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.